What's up, guys? It's the big man, Big Rock, here once again with a part of his collection of movies. Okay, this time we're doing C's through some F's. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next ones in another video. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. No further ado, here we go. We got Cafe Society. This one has Steve Carell as well, the guy that did 40 year old version. And Christian Stewart, the one that did what, babe? Twilight. Twilight. Say it with me. Twilight. Okay. Too many, too interesting. Oh, there's that. Then I got another Captain America, the first Avenger. Okay. Then I got Captain Marvel. That was so cool. Oh. That's how it is, I guess. Oh, okay. Captain Marvel, why not? It's a Marvel movie. Then I ended up with... This one has... No one I know, John Lovitz. There's John Lovitz in it. Kevin Spacey. Casino Jack. So, it looks funny. I haven't seen it, but it looks funny. Amazing. Awesome. Catch 44 with Bruce Willis. Forrest Whittaker. And... Uh, oh, I know. So there's Catch 44 right there. Put her down, please. And then I got one with uh, 50 Cent, Adam Rodriguez, and Chris Clean. Uh, caught in the crossfire. So obviously that's shoot them up, bang, bang, boom, boom stuff. Hilarious movie. Since more intelligence with The Rock and Kevin Hart. Told you I got a lot of Wayne Johnson movies. Chaos with uh, Jason Statham. Of course, I picked it up because of Jason Statham. Shia LaBeouf, I like his acting. I think he's awesome. So this is one with him in it. Charlie Countryman. That's one of the ones I found. Yep, the wife found this one. Steve Martin is another great old actor. Um, Cheaper by the Dozen, too. Which has 18 freaking kids, one roof. Crazy. This one I really like, and I believe my wife liked this one too. Chef. He goes out on the road with his son, spends time with his son, and his son really loved it because they were losing contact with each other. They did they didn't really have much in common, and this and, reconnected them. And he was getting, um, he was doing the media for his dad. Yeah, he was doing the media for his dad, and his dad lost his job, or well, he quit his job, uh -uh. and bought a new, and bought a new, uh, a new, uh, what food truck, and went here? down and did the thing. Then Adam Sandler again, click. And I bought it because I didn't sell it. We'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. See you in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get a drink of, of Pepsi or something. Uh, I had something in my throat. This next one has, uh, looks like Tom Hanks, Holly Berry. Yeah, it is Tom Hanks. Cloud Atlantis. Yep. I, I'm Berry. a big fan of Tom Hanks movies, man. And Halle Berry, that's going to be a banger. We haven't seen that one yet. And then we have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 1 and 2. Got to have both of them. Obviously, Cloudy with Meatballs. Good cartoon. 
Um, then we have one with Stallone in it, and it's Cobra. Obviously, you know, Stallone's known for his action movies. One with Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Collateral Damage. Good one. Which is another good, 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 good old movie. This one I picked up is a Disney movie has um that's who Raven Draven in it, has Martin Lawrence in it, has the dad of Raven. Um I really liked it, it has that chick from uh Zack and Cody as well. Um the Asian chick of descent or whatever. College Road Trip. I really thought it was a good movie. Um, so I picked that up. I like Disney movies. Disney movies are good. Some of them. Um, Disney Soul, stuff like that. Um, Columbia Circle as well I have. I haven't really seen this movie. Uh, but it has Amy Smart in it. Uh, and Jason Lee, whoever that is. Wait. Yeah, Jason Lee. Then this one has Will Smith in it, and it looks really good. I haven't seen this one yet. It's based on a true story. Um, football, concussion. Awesome, awesome. I love football movies, I love true story movies. Uh, me and the wife love true stories. She's not a football fan though, so she probably would not be interested in this. Although it has Will Smith in it, so she might make an exception because of Will Smith. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Condemned. And The Condemned 2. That's Randy Orton, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Steve Austin, Randy Orton. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Steve. Oh, Dick Backers. Contraband. Mark Wahlberg. That was a good movie. It was a very good movie. Cop Out was hilarious. And Bruce Willis and Kevin Hart. Amazing. Are you sure? Love that movie. Yeah, that's Bruce Willis. Yeah. Bruce Willis is it. I meant Kevin Hart. Oh, not Kevin Hart. I meant Tracy Morgan. Those two kind of look goofy looking motherfuckers. Kind of so... So the... They're still two funny motherfuckers, okay? But, yeah, they look the same. I got called out. Oh, well. It's somebody that is funny, alright? And short. And look alike. Not mm -hmm. all black people look alike. Get that out of your head. <laughs> Counselor. You with, need one. <laughs> uh, Michael Fassbender, Penelope Cruz, Di Cameron Diaz, JVL Dunham, and Brad Pitt. As long, if, if Brad Pitt don't show his ass for an hour like Troy, um, I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> Couples Retreat, as well with Vince Vaughn, great movie, gotta love that movie. No. Yup. Crank 1, Crank 2, Jason Statham, gotta love it. Then, this is a double, I guess. I found this out. Crazy on the outside. I just seen that one not too long ago. Here's my Creed 2. It's in Blu-ray. I figured it was in 4K. Now I gotta find it in 4K. Because I want both of them in 4K. Criminal Activities with Michael Pitt, Dan Stevens, and John Travolta. I think Michael Pitt, isn't that the son of Brad Pitt? I don't know. It's spelled the same. He's relation, I think. I am not 100% sure. Uh, who likes Cuba Gooding Jr.? The guy that played radio. Well, he's also in uh, Daddy Day Camp. Uh, I believe... 
This is the second one. Because was it Martin Lawrence in the or oh, something in the first one? I, I believe. Then I got Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2. Where it's, it's an amazing movie. I think you like these ones too, don't you? They were okay. They were okay for you? Yeah. I'm not a big fucking uh, Will Ferrell fan at all. Me neither. I, I got him because I really like Mark Wahlberg and I want his whole collection. Uh, Mel Gibson is pretty good too. And then fucking... I not. know that... Will Ferrell, he plays some stupid movies like Step Brother and, and Tell the Day and Night. Those movies are just stupid as all hell. I know that they're making a daddy... Three. Uh, three with John Cena. Yeah, John Cena's in the... Um, the second one. Second one, but... Dan, one. in real life, is the 40-year-old version. That I can't get that out of my head every time I see his face or his name. So, he he, he now is the 40-year-old version. Daredevil, why not? Because it's, um, you know... Well, Daredevil. That's pretty much it. We'll take a break here. Uh, I have a good bathroom. Alright, we'll talk to you in a little... in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. You know, duty called, had to do it. Um, Jim Carrey, he played in a movie called Dark Crimes. Haven't seen it yet, but it, it's supposed to be like a mind-type, dark, twisted movie. And while well, dark crimes right here, um, Jim Carrey, he don't really strike me as one to like the mind game stuff. Um, he p plays like you know me, myself, and Irene, which was a great movie. Uh, it it just don't strike me as you know dark. Then we have. And again, another 40 year old version in a movie. Steve Carell and Tina Fey in Date Night. Which is a good funny comedy. They, they try to get Date Night and, well, they can't because they have kids and blah, 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 blah. Now we got a vampire movie with Israel Lucas and, uh,. Sam Neill, William Defoe, and Ethan Hawke, which is Daybreakers. I haven't seen this, have we? I think we have, but on um, TV. On TV? Yeah. I just don't remember it, but it, it sounded good. I like vampire movies, and there's one right there. This one is DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the complete first and fifth season. So, I'm looking for two, three, and four. Um, but yeah, I got those because, you know, the, why not? The DC. Death at a Funeral, which also has Danny Glover in it, and Martin Lawrence, and... Uh, Tracy Morgan and Chris Rock, um, and Luke Wilson in it, the pretty, I swore Al Capone was in this too, but he's not, um, but, yeah, there's that one, which is good, I also got Death Race 1, 2, and 3, so I got all the Death Races, Right there. I'm a big fan of Death Race. Uh, yeah, Danny Trejo's in it as well. Big fan of his. And Jason Statham. Then we got Deadpool. Who don't like Deadpool? Pikachu. Yeah. Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Deadpool. Um... I know what they should do in uh, Deadpool 3. Him have a Pikachu, uh, um... Suit? Suit. Have it be 
yellow and black and and be elect electricity just to pay homage to Pika Pika. He just made that noise too while he's making his chimichangas. Pika Pika. Danny Tombstone, Danny Trejo. You gotta love Danny Trejo. He's an awesome actor. That's one of my favorite actors, actually, Danny Trejo. Dead Man Down, have not seen it, but I heard it was really good. It's a thriller, because it says it on the back. <laughs> a compelling suspense thriller. That's how I know it was a thriller. Uh, this one has Hugh Jackman in it. That's why I picked this one up. Deception, because of Hugh Jackman. Wolverine. You know, some actors, um, like Screech, rest in peace, never lose who they were when they were acting. Hugh Jackman would never lose the Wolverine. Uh, Screech will always be Screech. Not Dustin Diamond, but Screech. This one. My wife was mad at me because I picked it up. And that's Deli Safaki. See, she's still kind of salty about it. By the face. <laughs> Good cartoon there. Delivery Man. This was a funny movie. When he found out that he was literally the dad to like thousands of kids. Wasn't it like a hundred and fifty Yeah, or something? he had like a hundred and some kids. That was crazy. Imagine having a hundred and some kids. And then so he got his, his woman pregnant. Yeah. So, imagine that. That, that, this, that this is, wow. Just, wow, a lot of kids, dude. This one has 50 Cent in it, Den of Thieves. Amazing movie! Just pickle me. Just pickle me. Despicable Me 2, which I'm trying to find the first one and the third one because I love the minions. Banana na. Banana na. Another diary of the Wimpy Kid. Or diary of a Wimpy Kid, not the Wimpy Kid. Roderick Rules. This one has Kevin James in it and Vince Vaughn. Kevin James is another good actor. I love a lot of his stuff from Kings of Queens to his newer stuff. Dilemma. He is funny. He's also got a new Netflix movie out. Kevin James does. Um, when he's a race car driver. Or he's in the pit for the driver. And he fixes the car and stuff. Real funny. You gotta go see it. It's really good. It's on Netflix. Dinner for Four Smocks. That's a funny one. I believe you've seen this one, haven't we? Again, 40-year-old versions in this one. Jeez, I found out I have a lot of the 40-year-old version movies. And you have the 40-year-old version in itself. <laughs> Dinosaur. That's a good one. Which is a great movie. Love it. Doom, still book. There's that Doom I was telling y'all about. Still book. Two discs, Blu-ray, and DVD. Look at that still book, though, guys. Comic book style. Look at it. It is beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Whoever did this still book is amazing because even the back is good. Uh, I found a lot of these comic book style still books. Um, and I'm trying to collect them because the comic book style. We have Jason Bourne in it as well um with um bone uh the first jason bone movie uh it was a comic book as well and then this one has richard gear in it which played in um uh pretty woman as the rich guy that pays for pretty woman it's called The Double. Haven't seen this one, but it looks hilarious and funny and, and, and rough and tough, is what it said on the back. This one I love because it's football. 
I like football stuff. And it's draft day. My wife even liked this one, and she don't even like football. It was a good one. She even has this one in her class. Then I have Jagan one, two, three, Gift of the Night Fury. So there's four dragon movies right there. How to train your son. Dragons. Uh, here's the first one. Second one. Third one. And Gift of the Night Fury. Drillbook Taylor. Amazing movie. Because it just is. Eagle Eye with Shia LaBeouf. I haven't seen this one, but... Yeah, it, another one that I found. It, yeah, another one that the wife found. She finds a lot of the actors that I like. And she's like, hey, have you seen this? And I'm like, uh... I don't think so. <laughs> and I just pick him up because he has the actor I like. <laughs> Easy A. This chick acts like a slut and... Gives an easy A because of it does does things for homework and whatnot. Hood was a good movie. Me. Mm-hmm. Edward Scissorhands with who, babe? Johnny Motherfucking Depp. Better when he's quiet. This one I found because it was on sale, and it's supposed to be a romantic comedy with two old people. Elsa and Fred. I've not seen it, but it is supposed to be good. And then Empire State with Dwayne Johnson. It's supposed to be super good as well. I've seen this one, I believe, where he takes over. And I love this one. Then we have Escape Plan with Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is amazing. We have a couple more we're done on this video. Hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Y'all know what to do. Go get those movies that will be linked down below. Five for a dollar. Disney uh, Movie Club. Y'all can do it. Then I have the Expandables 1 and 2. I'm missing the third one. Which is... Yeah, I'm missing the third one. And then we got Facing the Giants, the last one out of this set. Football movie, I'm pretty sure this is based on the true story as well. Um, yeah. So, this movie was a good movie. Uh, but hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Go get those movies. Five for a dollar down in uh, Disney. Uh, club. So, go get those, sign up, do your thing. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. We'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.